All right, America, it's your favorite roofer, Kevin Newton with America's favorite roofing company, Honest A Roofing. In part three of our turret tapered standing seam panel. Well, that's what it looks like behind me. It's coming along. I've got one, two, three, four, five panels on. I got one leaning against the platform there. I got five or six more cut and wanted you to kind of see how it looks from the ground. I know it's a little difficult to see here with the light the way it is today. I'll take you a little closer, we'll get on the platform and we'll look at it up close and in person. So let's go check it out real quick. Hope your day's going well for you. I know mine is. A little bit of rain, cold, windy. Mm. But don't worry. America's favorite roofers on the case fighting America's problems one roof at a time okay check it out so here's our standing seam tapered panel I know you saw the earlier videos and you saw how all this is coming together I've got my panel uh, locked in place here and we're I'm uh, bending the bottom around and it folds up and locks in as i showed you earlier today it goes in between the drip edge and that jago cleat now i'm gonna climb up the roof and lock on the female side of that panel i've got my ends all folded over look at that no openings like a pro You can always tell a novice who installs standing seam, they don't close off the ends. They just cut it, put it down and snap it in place. They probably wear a straw hat, be my guess. Anyway, so there we go. Professional is always looking great. Tapered panel system going around the turret. And as we spoke about earlier, we took out all the striations in that panel to give it that nice smooth look on top of that on top of that it's going around you know as you can see it's it's round but as you as you take that as you take this curve around the the roofing system the panel also has to concave itself so it's going around the circle, but it's also curving. So the panel wants to concave around the framing. So the panel has to be able to relax over that. And the striations may make it a little too stiff. At the same point in time, we lose that stiffness, which could cause some oil canning, which you spoke about earlier in the day. But I believe it's, it's working out great. I'm leaving my, as I showed you earlier, I'm leaving the clips, I'm cutting those clips make them a little give them a little more room to flex and to move throughout the installation that way we don't get any of that oil canning in place but it's looking great if you've ever thought about installing standing seam but you're just not sure how to do it give your favorite roofer a call and i can walk you through it or better yet i can just i can just come do it for you why would you want to do it you don't want to do it it's dangerous anyway stay tuned i'm gonna hop up here and get these seams locked in place and we'll rinse and repeat and do it again